It was the end of the 19th century, and America stood as a beacon of hope and optimism. Among the many who ventured from afar in pursuit of new opportunities was a family whose commitment to hard work, faith, and education endures to this day. Their values are the foundation of a legacy, and every legacy begins with a story. This is the story of the Bannon family. Phil and Teresa Bannon were both children of Irish immigrants searching for a new life. They met, fell in love, and found their way to San Francisco, California in the late 1800s. The grandfather had a machine shop in San Francisco called Pacific Gear and Tool Works. It was industrial stuff for sawmills, bolt mills, and that kind of stuff. With 10 kids, he had to work pretty hard. Even in the midst of their hard work, the Bannons knew education was the most important gift they could give their children. So in 1919, their oldest son, Tom, enrolled at the University of Santa Clara. And the rest, as they say, is history. At the dawn of the 20th century, the university was an all-male school. In order to chart their own path, sisters Marge, Tootie, B and Pat attended Dominican College. The five brothers, Phil, Burke, Charlie, Lou, and Barney, followed Tom, and the Bannons quickly became some of the most recognizable faces on the Santa Clara campus. They were each different, but they all had that, that nice way about them. They were all uh, very attuned to observing, listening. They were all uh, easy to communicate with, but they were all sharp guys and all had a great sense of humor and then they took strong roles in supporting the school. There was something about the family where you could just sense that feeling amongst them and amongst the kids. After graduation, with family values in one hand and a Santa Clara education in the other, five brothers worked together to build and sustain their successful family business. Santa Clara became a source of pride and responsibility, and in time, the university and the Bannons became intertwined. Tom, always the leader, maintained a strong connection to Santa Clara and laid the foundation for a lifetime of generosity. He was always interested in giving back, so he has set up programs before he passed away to benefit Santa Clara, both the, the physical structures, the student body, the scholarships, Alumni family scholarships were very important to him. Merit scholarships too. We still have a foundation that supports Santa Clara annually. One brother, Lou, made a courageous choice to follow a different path, and in doing so, reinforced the family's lifelong commitment to faith and education. Lou Bannon was the sixth of Phil and Teresa's ten children. Instead of joining the family business, Lou became a Jesuit priest, professor, and one of the most beloved figures in Santa Clara University's history. Oh man, everybody loved him. He was a, uh, he was a great priest, but he's also a great mentor for, for the kids going to school here. He kept us, a lot of us in school kept us pointed in the right direction. In 1953, Father Lou joined the faculty at Santa Clara, where he remained for the rest of his life. In addition to teaching, he also served as assistant to the university president for alumni relations and was a mainstay of the alumni office, befriending and counseling countless students, alumni, and family members. He created a very a warm, friendly atmosphere. He always respected respected students. No matter what you said, he, he was very respectful. And he was very uh, low-key, uh, gentle, um, and um, just a wonderful teacher. Uh, he encouraged me to become a teacher. I took some of his way of teaching from him. From him. Father Lou was Santa Clara. He took great pride in the place he loved so much showing compassion even when it was time to lay down the law. And he would talk about walking the, the dorm. He called it spreading gloom. It's time for me to go spread some gloom. You 
get rid of the bear. You go study. Call your mother. <laughs> he was he was a piece of work. We all miss him. So I had two brothers while here while I was here. I had several cousins, and uh, I think that at that time, Father Lou had got ulcers. I think we're responsible. Yeah, for, we're responsible for his ulcers. For 45 years, Father Lou passionately served the great alumni community, celebrating their achievements and elevating their invaluable contributions to the university. He advocated tirelessly to school administrators for a physical representation of those contributions, an alumni building centrally located on campus. In 1975, he prevailed when the alumni office moved into the old Donahoe Infirmary and became the place where all Santa Clara alumni could gather and reconnect with their alma mater. And when Father Lou entered the sunset of his life, Santa Clara remained the place he called home. He literally never slowed down. And then he wasn't feeling well. But even during that period, even after being in the hospital, he came back to work and then he went to the next step. So he never he physically wasn't here for those last couple of months, but uh, he never retired. He never stepped out. Really dear friend of mine. You know, we were buddies. I'll get teary eyed. He was, you know, he, he really impacted a lot of lives. His funeral was incredible. Father Locatelli couldn't get through his sermon. He had to stop. The church was jammed out to the street. It's kind of a moment where you get a glimpse of how a person lived. It's, you know, how they die and how their friends react to that. A very moving thing. The Bannon Award uh, represents Father Bannon. Uh, Father Bannon was truly committed to Santa Clara in every way. And uh, he was such a wonderful human being, such a kind, loving person. Love was all that he could talk about. And it seems to me uh, the Bannon Award reflects how someone does not just love the Alumni Association or the alumni, but loves what happens, what people do. Over the last 100 years, Father Lou and the Bannon spirit have influenced the university, decades of alumni, and generations of family members. As the Klan is fond of saying, you can go to college anywhere you want, but I'll pay for you to go to Santa Clara. Since 1919, hundreds of Bannons have graced the paths of Santa Clara University. Santa Clara is so much bigger now, not just in people, but in size and magnitude. But it still has a certain quality to it and a certain amount of loyalty. And I think the Bannon family were a good part of that. I think it started with Father Lou. And then if you look at the participation of his brothers and his relatives and his nephews and nieces uh, and the in-laws, uh, if you go through the, the list of former trustees, alumni board members, alumni presidents, uh, other boards, there's always been a Bannon or somebody who would marry a Bannon on those different boards or, or helping push things. Through the years, they have contributed generously by founding the Alumni Family Scholarship Program, building the university's first engineering complex, and establishing over 15 scholarships and professorships. As committed supporters of the institution they love, they lead lives of competence, conscience, and compassion, gifts bestowed on them through the unique education that is Santa Clara University. I'm proud to have a Santa Clara degree, especially within my family. It feels like I'm passing the torch along. As they look to the next century, the values of hard work, faith, and education remain a living legacy of the Bannon family, just as Phil and Teresa had dreamed. A legacy of stewardship, leadership, and family that will remain for generations to come. When we were at the Russian River, we had a nice walk one day, and he said, you know, I've been thinking about 
the future. And if all of my children aren't with me in the next world, I don't know if I want to be there. It seems to me that the family is the most important thing in my life, and I want to think that they're all going to be wherever I am.